Hey, this is Harry back again. Uh, it's my uh, old gaming PC with a Asus uh, X79 Pro motherboard in it, and a pro the processor's a 3820K. I built this back in 2012. You can see it's all fully water cooled. It's got a EVGA 980 for the wind. S I think it's an SC2 in it. Well, it's been that long since I've, uh, since I built it, but the graphics card is new. It used to have uh, two AMD 7950s in it, but yeah, the problem is it's just randomly blue screening. Now I was on, I was had the computer on all day yesterday, and it didn't do it. Um, just now and again, it does it. So what I'm thinking of doing is stripping it down reseating everything the ram the ram hasn't been out of the pc since 2012 um the cpu has been in but the the block has been off the water block has been off and uh i've redone the thermal paste and stuff on it obviously i've flushed the loop out and stuff that's been done a fair few times um obviously it was soft tubed first uh, I got, as you can see, I've got the hard line in it, but that's been there quite a while. But what I'm going to do is just put it through it. I'm just going to stress test it with Ada 64. And I'm just going to stress the CPU, the memory, and the graphics card to see if I can get it to blue screen. Uh, the processor is running at the moment. It's just idling there at 3.8 gigahertz at uh, 1.376 volts. Uh, I'm just going to see if I stress it, see if I can get it to blue screen and see what the readout is. Now when it blue screens it says something about the IRQ but I'm going to see if if, it, if I can get it to blue screen when I'm stressing it hopefully I can get a photograph of it and find out what's causing the intermittent blue screening. It's not very often, it's just, it, it, sometimes it'll do it twice a day, sometimes it won't do it at all um, so here we go, just going to give it a start on the old Ada 64 and we'll see if we can find out what the issue is. What I was going to do anyway is, uh, there you go, something's going on, screen just gone off but then it's all come back on, doing that maybe maybe the graphics card maybe the thermal pads on the graphics card need redoing thermal paste I'll take it all apart the plan was to stress it see what was happening and that's odd the CPU is still at 3.8 that is odd because I know it's clocked in the BIOS at 4.6 That is odd. Very odd. See, it's on a hundred percent load, but it's only a three point eight. Right. Well, I'll leave it running for a bit, and then I'm going to go and check the BIOS. That is odd, very odd. Right, I'll leave it running for a bit and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're back here after two hours and 40, nearly 45 minutes with a stress test on the PC. Uh, graphics cards around 25, fan speeds Fan speeds are just under 500. Uh, the CPU cores are 3.8. I can't understand that. I haven't touched that BIOS for years, and it's always been 4.593 or something like that. It's near enough 4.6 gigahertz. I clock it in the BIOS. And CPU ratio is 46. I can't understand why it's down to 3.8. See the temperatures there now, running around the foot low 40s and the maximum mid 40s averaging uh, CPU 32 
And you see that there? CPU max temperature is 172 C. Now I don't know if that's a cock up on some part or the other, but let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it off now. You see the CPU's at 100 percent load. Right, I'm gonna switch it off and find out why that's gone down to 3.8 gigahertz. Okay, we're back again. I've been into the BIOS. I've done a few alterations. I'll go back into the BIOS in a bit and then show you what I've done or what I what I did a, a few minutes ago. And I've set the CPU now to 4.6 gigahertz on all cores, and it's on the moment it's on 4.1. And when I put it under stress, I want to see if it goes up there. Um, could, uh, with the um, rapid fire course, I couldn't get into the BIOS because the USB wasn't uh, recognizing it so I just had to put my old trusty old overclocking keyboard on right I got the fan set full at, flat out 1375 RPM and uh, core voltage is 1.384 and let's go for it let's see if it's hit the start and then nothing Absolutely nothing. I don't understand. I can't understand that. Not changing. So four, four point one, and in BIOS it says four point six. Hmm. That's odd. Maybe the motherboard's up the swanny maze, it's getting a bit old. Huh? It's running. Now we'll leave it like it for a bit and see what happens. Then I'll go back into the BIOS and uh, let you see what, we're, what I've been doing. I just changed three, just put the voltage up a fraction from 1.376 to 1.384. That's all I did, and changed, changed the multiplier, and a couple of other things. Right, we'll, we'll let it run for 15 minutes, and then we'll go back and have a look. Okay, it's been running for just over 23 minutes now. It's a bit stuttery. See the, see the mouse? I'll move the mouse, and then it'll do it. So, I'm going to stop the, stop the, uh, stop the test, and uh, I think she's in for a rebuild. See if it makes any difference, clean everything up. As I say, a lot of it hasn't been out for six years now. CPU's not been out the socket, RAM hasn't been out the sockets. It's had another graphics card in, as I said earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come across now, stop the test. Because it's not, it's not, it's not right. You see, it's a bit, you know, even the timing and stuff like that, you can see the seconds are not moving and then all of a sudden it'll jump five or six seconds. So I'm going to stop the test. Go back into the BIOS. That's if it will. Right, we'll just turn this off again. Give it a reboot. Restart it. Go back into the BIOS. I'm not sure. Probably won't start up again, but we'll see. This has gone off. So let's wait for the mother or the mouse. The keyboard has come on. Look at that! It was too damn quick. I didn't even press the damn button, and it's gone into Windows. So let's go. Let's go into. The, let's go back into the BIOS, and. Let's put the ramp back to 1866. See if I can catch it this time. Right. Mash the delete key. It's just gone quiet now. As you're booting up, come on. Screen on, bumble hole. Yeah, see the RAM there has gone back down to there, so we're going to go across to that. 
and sync all cores. Oh god, let's turn that off. Oh, manual. AI overclocker. Okay, that's cool. We'll just keep it at that. We go manual on that one. S CPU strap. Auto. Gen 4 I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that before. 44, 44. Let's go down to the RAM frequency. I'm going to bang that up to 1866. Uh, can't remember. Let's a RAM control on that auto 9999 that'll do skip out that digi power just check that T probe 120 disable spread spectrum that's good Let's go 1.7 oh Jesus 1.7 1.375 Okay, try that. Ram voltage, auto, auto, auto. Okay. So what I'm going to try here is go to a 102, enter. See, let's put the RAM back up. So what we're going to do is go see if we can get this to 4.5. 1, 0, 3, enter. Okay, and then we go back down to the RAM. To the RAM 1648. Press F10. Try it out. Let's see if it boots up. No. Oh, hold on. What we got? What we got? We got something. to Windows, let's check it out. Let everything go tiddly do fucking USB stuff. Let's check CPUZ. Four point four two. Thirty two nanometer technology, guys. Is that old or what? 130 watt TDP. <laughs> Jesus. 32 nanometer. What's it down to? 12? 10 now? Holy shit. Look at that. Started. Let's see if this. Let's see if this. Seems a bit more fluid, should I say. Excuse me. It does seem a little bit more on the ball. 4.42. We've got 4.5 on the booster. Top whack there. So let's try a bit of this. A to 64. It does seem a bit more nippy. A little bit more nippy. Let's not bother with the. Yeah, let's do the CPU. Let's keep as is. Yeah, let's start that and see how that goes. Boom, she's in 100%. 100% on there, 4.42. 4.42. I'll leave that running. See if it's any 
smoother and it's not. See how it just judders a bit. And the mouse seems to be a bit oh here we go, it's stuck again. Let's see what the memory's at on, on there, if it'll do anything. So we've got 800, so we're at 1646, 1646, 1647 and a half. So you times that by two. So it's 1647. That's good enough for that. And it's, it is moving, but just nice and steady. So leave that running for 10 minutes.